What's going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be talking about Aquashella. Alright, now for the past two days I've been in Dallas, Texas and what would I be doing in Dallas, Texas? Well, you guys already have clicked on the title tag, so you know that I went to Aquashella. Now, I worked this into a trip to Reefapalooza, which I'm leaving here Monday, which is tomorrow, jumping on a plane, heading to Orlando for Reefapalooza. I have a table, very excited about that, and I'm definitely looking forward to meeting everybody. But I wanted to make this trip to Aquashella, and it didn't disappoint. <laughs> Texas that are into this hobby they literally tried to shut this down the fire department showed up there was cops there uh, there was people standing at the door when I showed up I thought I was gonna be late enough so I didn't have to stand in line and I saw the biggest line ever I actually got ripped out of the line by Rico and Rico brought me up to the front we had a little quick conversation with Georgie got me in and I definitely appreciate Rico for saving me from probably what would have been a couple hour wait in line. So today is day two. Now this morning, I kind of had the same plan as yesterday. I wanted to show up a little bit late. So what I did this morning is I went over to the Dallas World Aquarium. <laughs> I was absolutely blown away by the Dallas World Aquarium. It's an exceptional place to go. If you are ever in the Dallas area, I strongly recommend that you check it out. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what Aquashella is, it is a not so much convention, but it's a festival that is celebrating aquariums, both fresh and salt water, and it also celebrates the folks that keep reptiles as well as amphibians. And it's just a really an amazing event. And it truly had something for everyone. You know, if you are a freshwater aquarium keeper, you you know you had a bunch of they had flower horns that were on display, which I don't even God knows what they they cost. Um, there was a lot of cichlids that were available on site, um, which kind of brought me back to my you know freshwater cichlid days. And they also had um, just a ton, a ton of different types of freshwater setups. And the one company I think that was on display at Aquashell that did probably the best about 
you know, capturing what this event was about was Kessel. They had a system that looked like it was tied in together, but it wasn't. It had fresh water on one side and salt water on the other. And the one thing that really stood out to me about this event and made it much different than other ones is the art that is surrounding it. There's art literally everywhere. There's uh, folks that are in booths selling art, which I really wanted to buy some stuff, but I was really concerned about getting it to my house. I'm sure that they would have worked with me. Um, but there was multiple booths set up for you know artists that dabble in uh, the aquarium side of things. There was also reptile art as well as amphibian art. And you're just surrounded by art. And, but I, I think what I liked the most about the event was the scape offs, which basically they had both freshwater and saltwater events for aquascaping. The saltwater one, I don't think I did much filming for that one, which I don't remember the ladies that were involved with that. But the freshwater one, I filmed a little bit. So it was Joey from YouTube, uh, Joey the king of DIY. He was up against a fellow named Jeff from Texas, so I can't remember what Jeff was affiliated with. He was part of a group, but I can't remember. And they had different elements for a freshwater waterscape. Uh, they had some water box aquariums, the new freshwater line that was set up. And they basically had, I think it was like five minutes to put together an aquascape. And then the crowd got to vote on which one was better. And I'm not gonna say who won, but what I will say is I want you to take a look at these next two photos. We're gonna have photo A and photo B. And what I wanna hear in the comment section down below is who you think won or should have won the escape off at Aquashella. So leave a comment down below, let me know which aquascape for fresh water, I know, um, which aquascape for the fresh water competition on day two won in your opinion. This event for me is literally the morning of that I was supposed to fly out of Maine to Dallas Texas and I think you guys can kind of hear it in my voice I had a cold and I've been pounding zinc and vitamin C and elderberry to try to pull myself out of this and on the first day I was a little bit uh, down a little bit and ultimately um, I'm feeling a little bit better today but you know hopefully we can make the best of today and enjoy it a little bit more than I did yesterday. All right, guys, so that is our wrap on Aquashella. I want to thank you guys for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Uh, we're going to be jumping on a plane after today. Aquashella was absolutely amazing. And I'm looking forward to the next one. Really, outside of Aquashella, the only other event that I had been to was Magna. And to be 100% honest, uh, Aquashella blew any event that I've ever been to out of the water. Georgie, you did an amazing job with the show. And I definitely think that that is something that this hobby needs, is what you've done with Aquashella. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video i want to thank you for joining me if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this one make sure you hit the bell i'll see you next time right here with a brand new video